All right, so let's go into Discord. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's go into Discord and uh, look to see how you submit your beta course for evaluation. So here we are in Discord, and in our, one of our categories over here, we got course beta testing. It's at the top of the OPCD um, uh, server. And there's a couple channels in here. One is the user beta uh, testing chat help. If you have any issues with the process, you can just post your question there and, and one of us will get to you and help you out. This is also for people who are testing and uh, just need some help how they get started with testing. So just the general beta testing chat. Uh, here is where all the course, we're gonna come back to this one, but this is where all the course threads are. So these are all the current courses at the time of this video that are out for beta. Come back to this here in a second. Uh, alternate Greenkeeper files really isn't has not have anything to do with beta. I'm not sure it's why it's in that section. Um, beta course submission. This is where you want to go for the latest information on how to submit your course for beta. There's a lot of information here, okay? But in general, read down through this. At the top, this is the link that needs to go inside of GS Pro in order to download the betas in-game. Uh, there's some information on how to do that. Um, this is a checklist, okay? This is all the things, if you click on this, it'll take you to a list of all the things that you should be checking in your course before submitting to beta, okay? Some things, some expectations. Um, this is the area uh, that you wanna read on how to submit your course for beta. This is the link to the form, and I'll just open this up. And you can see this is our beta upload form. It's a Google form. You're gonna put your email address in there, the name of your course, and Mike, in this for example, I was submitting Kapalua. This is what how it's going to show up in uh, in the GS Pro when people look at your beta. So make it, you know, I'm just calling this Kapalua, and, and in game, I'll show you this. It'll say beta dash Kapalua. Okay. Uh, this is the checklist that what I just uh, talked about. This is you know where you want to test. This is not the same as the John Meyer video series on checking your course in Greenkeeper. It is separate. So make sure you want to do this one as well. Download URLs. Okay, so you've created your course, you've zipped it up. Okay, and when you make when you zip that up, you want to zip up the main folder. So you're going to have your, for example, my Kapalua underscore GSP folder, which is the same as your scene name in Unity. And then underneath that folder, there's going to be about I think nine different files, which contain your Unity file, your encrypted Unity file, your course details, your splash screen, and all that stuff. You want to make sure that those are all under that folder and then that folder gets zipped up. What you see here are instructions specifically if you use these file share services on how to create the URL to download your course in beta. What happens is in game that URL is given to GS Pro and when someone clicks download course, they are downloading that course from your file share service. The three that we support are Dropbox, Google, and OneDrive. I wouldn't suggest you do OneDrive, it's a little bit more complicated, but Google and Dropbox work, okay? This is videos on how to create that URL. Once you create that URL, you paste it right here. Um, course version, this is, if you're submitting for the first time, your version one. If someone comes back with some feedback and gives you some things to fix, you fix it, you come back to this form, fill this all out exactly the same way again. Same course name, that's very important. Give it the same course name. Download URL can change, okay, or it can stay the same depending on how your file service works, but you're gonna change your course version to then version two, because then in game in GS Pro, it'll say version two and people know that they need to update. Course location, for example, I can just put Hawaii for this. You can put the name, town. This is pretty much an open form. Not really important to have it right. Uh, it doesn't use the location from Greenkeeper, okay? That location in Greenkeeper is only used when you submit to SGT, should you decide to do so later on. Course designer, you can put your name. That's the Blasta. Course folder name, very important. This is the name of the folder that when you unzip, all your files are within, okay? So when I unzip Kapalua to my computer, that folder name is Kapalua underscore GSP. That will be the same as your scene name in Unity. That is very important. If you do not do this correctly, it will break. When you do your updates, you wanna make sure that this is the same as it was before. And elevation, 
Uh, I know Kapalu is 300 feet. Just put the elevation of your course. Then you hit submit and you have submitted your course for beta.